hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Sharif and usually on this channel I do cash stuffing and budgeting but today I decided to do something different so I'm going to bring you along as I set up my bullet journal for 2022 and if you like to see me set that up stay tuned first I'm going to start off by showing you the tools that I use here I have a few markers, a pen, and a ruler. Of course I have my journal by Minimalism Art, which I will link down below. I've used this journal for um, the past three years, um, and I've been bullet journaling for about four years. First, we're going to start off with my title page. I went back and forth about doing this page, but decided to go ahead and include it. Um, so I went ahead and first did the year 2022, and then I decided to highlight my word of the year, which is self-love. I added a simple border with some leaves. I got this idea from the YouTube channel Bujo and Cookies. She has a lot of simple um, Bujo designs and ideas on her page, so definitely check that out. Next, I decided to do a quote page. This is something that I constantly tell myself, this quote, progress, not perfection. As you can see, or as you will see, the spread is definitely not perfect. So that's actually fitting and that's fine. We are definitely embracing the imperfection. I kept it simple and did the same border on this page with the leaves that I did on the title page.
the next page is my key I wanted to keep it simple so I just continued with the leaf theme for the title After I did my title, I counted out the boxes. I usually divide my spreads into thirds, so after I counted the total boxes going across, I went ahead and did it in thirds as well. Next, I wrote out my key, which is pretty straightforward. I've used the same key since I started bullet journaling and it works for me. Bullet journaling is individual, so definitely use what works for you. Next is the most boring part. <laughs> I am setting up my feature log. As you can see, I divide the page into thirds. I got my laptop so that I can use the calendar. <laughs> you guys, I still messed up. Uh, I left this clipped in just to show you the way I use my white pen to correct small mistakes. You can definitely use white out if you want. I just have this white pen and that's what I use if it's something small. This year I decided to include a vision board in my planner. I think having the vision board in my planner that I use daily will serve me better because I'll look at it often. Next, I set up the first month, January. I'm going for minimal setups this year, so it's just three letters in a box. I wanna keep my spreads super minimal so that I'll be more likely to stick to bullet journaling for the whole year. In the past, I've gone back and forth between bullet journaling and a planner because the weekly setup routine becomes too much.
Uh oh. This is where I realized that I messed up on January in the future log. I started it off on a Sunday. And as you know, January started on a Saturday. So I did end up going back later to fix that. For this page, I um, initially just kind of left it alone and left it plain but it ended up being too plain for me so later on I did go back and highlight the title um, January. Next we have my brain dump page. This is probably the most beneficial page in my bullet journal. I am a chronic overthinker so jotting my thoughts down helps me to organize them. I decided to also add a YouTube section have a lot going on so I wanted to keep personal and YouTube separate. Next we have my weekly spread again super minimal. I divided the page into thirds and created the heading at the top of each column for each day of the week. I'm happy with the way that the spread came out as is, but I did go back later and, you know, sticker it up. I like that this spread is easy to set up for the weeks that I just want something minimal. Here I am showing you some of the stickers in my collection. These stickers are from Also Paper, who has a monthly subscription available, and from the Etsy shop Velia Tuma. I'm really not sure how to pronounce it, but I'm going to link both shops below. I also have some Happy Planner stickers, and I just ordered some more from that shop that I just mentioned. I use stickers to um, decorate my weekly spreads usually. Here's a final flip through of my bullet journal for 2022. I'm happy with the way it came out and I like the minimal style. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this sort of content, let me know in the comments. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!